Welcome once again to Chosen Generation TV. My God, what a great time it is to be in the presence of the Lord today. It is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. There's so much to be grateful for at this time of the year. It's almost the end of 2020. God has been good to you. God has been faithful to you. Irrespective of what you think today, you are in the land of the living. So I want you to rejoice. I want you to just say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I am grateful. Lord, I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory because you are a good father. You would never, ever, ever fail me. And I know that my God will never, ever, ever fail you. And so you welcome once again. So let's say a word of prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you are faithful. We thank you because you are reliable. We thank you because you are unchangeable. We thank you. Because when men say it's over, you say it's the beginning. Father, we thank you because of the power of the Holy Spirit you've given to us to be able to overcome every challenge and every problem. We give you praise and we give you glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. And we come against every contrary spirit right now. We say, be still. And the children of God will receive all that has been prepared for them. In Jesus' name, amen. And so you're welcome once again. What a great time we're going to have today in the presence of the Lord. I am smiling and I'm beaming. And I'll tell you why. Because I got a topic that so many people might not like. It's not about you liking it. But the Lord gave this to me and he said, it will deliver my people. If my people can be free of this, they will live a colorful life. If my people can be free of this, they will go to the next level. If my people can be free of this, they will go as high as I want them to go. Guess what? The topic for today is resist pride. Are you prideful? The answer you want to say is no. The answer is yes, you are. But if somebody talk to you about this topic, you're going to see that one way or the other, you're prideful. And it will be a good thing for us to change. I say us, including myself. Most of us are very prideful. Most of us see ourselves beyond where God has put us. Most of us just want to act in the way that we want to act. Well, I have good news for you today. The Lord is saying the reason why you have not received that promotion is pride. The reason why you have not seen that man that you have been believing God for is pride. The reason why you are that woman or man who has not seen that woman that you are believing God for is pride. The reason why you have decided to get a divorce is pride. The reason why things are upside down to a large extent is pride. The reason why you have a conflict in your marriage is pride. The reason why you have not been promoted, you don't like that boss, that boss doesn't like you, is pride. And I bring you good news. Come down from your high horse. Amen. Come down from your high horse. You're on the high horse. So many of us have lost a lot of things that we should have today. Just simply because we were offended by the other person. And what brings offense? Most times, it's pride. How can she speak to me that way? I can, I can, he speak to me that way. My brothers and sisters, you're just a person and you are a son and a daughter of the Most High God. And don't let pride make you miss all that God has for you. He has something great in stock for you. Amen. He loves you so much. I remind you of that all the time. But I, I, I talk to people all the time and I see emotionally people are bankrupt. Why? Pride. It will bring a man down. Jesus said in his words, he said, he who humbles himself shall be exalted. And he who exalts himself shall be humbled. I pray today that you put yourself in a place of humility so that the Lord himself, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who said we are fearfully and wonderfully made, who promotes you in the name of Jesus. And so let's go to our Bible. In the book of James, sorry, I will be starting with the book of Peter. We are going to come back to James later. The book of Peter, chapter 5. Chapter 5, verses 5 through to 11. I'm going to read real quick. It says, the first verse says there in 5, it says, Likewise, Ye younger, submit yourselves to the elder. Ye all of you be subject to one another. 
submit yourself. Submit yourself to the elder. There are those who are much older. And when they were talking about elder here, not just those who are old in age. We're talking about also, you know, like you have positions, bishop, um, pastors and stuff. They were also referring to the elders of the church. And also in your family, in your job, wherever you find yourself, those who are older than you, those not it, some it, it might not be even be age. It might be somebody you're older than, but the person is your boss. Guess what? You gotta submit yourself. You gotta come down. When you get out out of the job, put on your age again. But while you're there, submit yourself so that you can get the best of that job. He says, be subject to one another and be clothed with humility, for God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Praise God. God resists pride. I'm going to show you two particular scriptures that God is saying through Peter, the very second, um, the second disciple. Andrew was the first. Peter was the second one. But upon the rock, the church of God was built. Amen. Not that he is the rock. The Lord used him. And so when you go get, get to Rome, what do you see? You find Peter standing with the keys to the kingdom. And Peter wrote here, he said, resist, resist. God resists the proud and he gives grace to the humble. So when you are humble, hum humility doesn't mean foolishness. I say that all the time. Humility simply means it's okay. Let me stay humble. But what God wants concerning you will be done in the name of Jesus. Humility doesn't say people will walk over you. In fact, humility shows your level of intelligence, shows that you are a big person, shows that, you know what? You know who you are in Christ Jesus. And so he says, humble yourselves therefore in verse 6. 1 Peter 5, 6 says, humble yourself therefore. Under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Brothers and sisters, there's a due time. Most of us want to chase what we want to chase and get to where we want to get to. We will take down anybody on our way. But the word of God is saying to you, uh-uh, that is not the way it goes. I will take you in good time. In good time, in my time, there's an appropriate time. I have a sister who says, at the appropriate time. And it's true, at the appropriate time, there's a time and a season for everything. The book of Ecclesiastes 3 tells us there's a time to plant, there's a time to reap, there's a time to sow. There's a time to be happy. There's a time to mourn when you lose a dear one, but after then get up, clean your eyes, move on. And he's saying, in due time, and then he tells you, verse 7, say, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. What is bothering you today? Pride. Cast it in the Lord. Amen. I challenge you. You might not like me at this time. I don't care if you like me or not. I don't want you to like me. But I want you to listen to the word of God. He says, cast your care. Cast the pride so that God will give you grace. Verse 8 says, be humble. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil. You see, when you're prideful, it's an act of it's an act of sin. It's an act of the devil. The devil. Your adversary, as a roaring lion, walking about seeking who he may devour. It comes through pride. It comes through sin. It comes comes through guilt. Be careful. Whom resist steadfastly in faith. God wants you to resist pride in faith. He wants you to resist the devil. The devil mostly comes in terms of pride. Check out most of the things that make you so upset. I was not respected. I went there. They didn't honor me. They didn't greet me the way I should have been greeted. You know, I went there to, for that person and that person couldn't even say thank you. We all say that. But guess what? The Lord is saying it could be prideful. And so... The devil is growing around looking for who he may devour, whom resist steadfast in faith, knowing that the same affliction has accomplished your brethren that in the world. The people in the world are suffering from this. Believers, you don't have to go through what they go through. Resist pride. But the God of grace, who has called us unto eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After ye have suffered a while, there must be a while that you go through certain things. No matter the situation, there must be a while. The Lord will take you out of that situation right now in the name of Jesus. After you have su suffered a while, he will make you perfect. Hallelujah. The perfect God will make us perfect. He will establish you. He will strengthen you. 
and he will set you, settle you. He will what? Make you perfect. He will establish you. He will strengthen you with power and with might. Hallelujah. And he will settle you on every side. No matter what the problem is right now, the Lord is going to settle you. To him be all the glory and dominion forever and ever. To God alone be all the glory. He is a great God. He is a good God. Like the late Oral Robert would say, he's a good God. He is such a good God. And I know my God is a good God. And I know when you resist pride, you will enjoy his goodness. Amen. And he also tells us in James chapter 4, verse 6, when you see the Bible repeating the same thing, and of course you go through the book of Proverbs, you hear this a lot. He says, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he said, he resists the proud, but gives more grace to the humble. God will give you more grace. As you stay humble, he will promote you. As you stay humble, he will, he will draw you closer to him. He says, submit yourself, therefore, to God and resist the devil, and he will flee from you. When you resist the, do you see that both Peter and James, the, this is the, the brother of Jesus, same mother, of course, not the same father. He is the son of, he was the son of Joseph. But he's saying, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your heart, ye double-minded. Don't be double-minded. We walk by faith and not by sight. Resist the devil and see what God is going to do in your life. God will help you on this journey that you are in. We are all in a journey until that day when the Lord says, welcome back, my good and faithful servants. That is what we'll look forward to. Know the truth and the truth will set you free. You might be upset right now as I say this, but I want you to know it's for your own good. I've seen a lot of people miss a lot of things that they should have had, all because they are so prideful. They can call, they can Appreciate those who have given them stuff so they don't get more. But I want you to change. Be thankful in this Thanksgiving season. Be thankful for the people in your life, for your family, for your friends. It doesn't matter what is going on around you. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. And it will surprise you of what the Lord has done. The culture that most of us come from is a very prideful culture. It's not your fault. That's how you grew. That's your paradigm. But it's got to change. There must be a shift. And if you can shift it, come down from that high horse and Satan will flee from you and you'll be victorious in the name of Jesus. We love you from Divine Eagles Ministry. Visit us on our Facebook page. Visit us on our YouTube page and go to a website, divineeaglesministry.org. Share a word of testimony with us. And we know, as you come down from that pride, as you forgive the next person who has offended you, as you resist the devil, you will be promoted. I am waiting for that goodness. I am waiting for your testimony. I dare you to let go of pride and pick up humility and you will see a change. You will be loved by all. Those who, who never used to love you will begin to love you because of their new nature which is the nature of God, humility. Let God exalt you himself. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace. Jesus is love.